Hi, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Today's video is on a recent purchase, which is of a pin cushion sea urchin. I went ahead and I purchased it so it would eat all the algae on the rocks. And let me tell you, it's, it's doing a great job. I hope I can find it because what I heard was that during the day they hide and at night is when they come out. But I'm going to see if I can uh, find it and then I'll talk about it, what's it all about and the care requirements. So hold on one second. Okay, so here we are focused at it. I'll be honest with you, uh, behind the curtains, I, I was looking for it, I couldn't find it, and it was back on the rock work in that area, a little lower, but towards the back. And I really couldn't have gotten a good shot. So I just grabbed it. You know, they're not that difficult to uh, grab, and they'll disconnect immediately. And then I placed it here in the front so you guys can get a, a better uh, view of it as I talk about it. Well, let's get started. Okay, so the pin cushion urgent has an oval to round body covered with hundreds of uniform sp uh, spines, which can grow up to three inches in diameter. And its color can range from red to purple, like this one is, uh, to white and also blue. Now, this animal is considered, of course, an invertebrate. Now, it may carry shells, algae, bits of rubble on its back in order to shade or camouflage itself. So now knowing that, uh, this is why you should make sure that your coals are wedged and or glued because uh, as they walk uh, and they go around, they'll grab uh, anything and, and put it on top. So God forbid if one of your corals is not uh, let's say loose, like, as you know me, if you follow me, a lot of my corals aren't glue, they're just wedged. So, but if they are very, very loose, what will happen is it will just probably uh, grab it and put it on top of it and just walk around. I've seen other videos of this uh, sea urchin and I, I've seen them uh, actually get like little crabs and all that, like a, a emerald crab and just grab it and attach it to itself and it just keeps walking. Now, they are usually found in the Atlantic Ocean, especially in the Caribbean waters. Now, they usually hide during the day, but come out during the night, moving along to graze on algae found on live rocks. It is generally solitary, but will tolerate others of its own kind. Now, it is not advisable to keep the urgence along with puffer and trigger fishes, as they can uh, pick on the spine of these animals and can break open them and eat them. Uh, one thing that I thought I mentioned on the sea urchins is that poor water quality will cause it to lose its spines, especially when you have high nitrate levels. And if, they are, if there is insufficient algae for it to graze on, uh, what you should do, since this is actually their diet, uh, as a supplement, you uh, should go ahead and put, you know, those dry uh, seaweed sheets that they sell at the LFS and just put it in a little rock or something with a rubber band so the urgent can go ahead and glaze on that seaweed, which is actually algae. Now, as you're noticing that I've been shooting this video, uh, it, they move very, very slow, but you do have to keep an eye on them because you might see them here and like, let's say in 15 or 20 minutes, they're gone. They're moving around different places of the rock work. Or there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. You found it educational and fun, uh, but I'll be honest with you, I couldn't find it. And I said, wait a minute, I have to find it to shoot the actual video. So it was way back there on that center section. It was way back going towards the bottom. So I, I really couldn't find it. So what I had to do was actually grab it and put it on the front so all of you could get an idea of what it uh, looks like. So now next week, not only did I get this organism, but I, I got a mummy's eye chalice, which is all the way on the corner over there. And that's probably what I'll be talking about next week. So like I said, I hope you liked it. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. Thank you very much for watching. Keep safe, all of you, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.